What's going on the guys, Krohu here, and I gotta say, I'm not in the best of moods, man. Um, I woke up today, and it is the 19th. Woke up today, figured I was gonna have a good day. Because I made, you know, I, I made arrangements with some people, and then it all turned to shit, so I am not happy. So I figured I'd play some Dark Souls, and maybe that will calm me down a little bit. So, yeah, here we are. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, be sure to leave a comment. And, of course, enjoy episode 30 of Dark Souls. Right, so why are we naked? <laughs> well, almost naked without a top. Um, if you guys remember, we went to this part of the Lost Isolith. We battled the Centipede Demon. And what we have to do now is simply go forward. Now, I was going to speedrun this, but I think I'm not going to. Well, maybe to a certain extent... But for now, what we have to do is just go straight. Just run straight. And the, the contrast on this map makes things so much worse. Oh, I can't see shit. Like the orange. God. Yeah, there we go. So you go... Yeah, you go all the way straight. But I usually, like, hit this little branch over here. But whatever. So you go all the way straight, you run upstairs, well, not upstairs, you run up top. Actually, right now we don't have to use the orange shard ring, we can put our Havel's ring on. Covet's silver serpent ring. Um, where is my Havel's ring? There we go. And we can put our top on. No, not this. We could put this. Yep, there we go, back to normal. Alrighty then. Let's go forward. I'm going to try to get to the bed of chaos today, and I most likely will, but, well, you'll see. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. So this place can be tricky. Now, I didn't, well, I did explore it, like, on my first playthrough, but I never really care for it too much, so I just speed on it, and I guess that's what I'm going to do. Okay, why can't I go up there now? Come on, stop being a dick. Uh-oh, I didn't two-hand. Whatever. Boom, you're dead. Two gargo gargoyles dead at the same time. This is a statue. Alrighty. And the reason why I'm going to clear this out, uh, clear this area out, is because I want to... I want us to get invaded by an NPC. One second. Well, as it just so happens, I can't even have a normal game session because my phone decided to ring three times and I had to answer it. So, God damn it! not only is my day, my morning shit, but now my game session. And imagine that, I wanted to play this to relax and oh my god. And whoopty freaking do, we have no humanity. So, I had to answer the phone, I died, and we have no humanity. <sighs> To bring ourselves to mortal form. Whatever. Fuck it. I'm not gonna get angry over stupid crap. Orange hard ring. There we go. Let's run. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Everybody has bad days. I guess it's my turn today, right? So, I wanted to show you this invasion um, here, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Whatever. I'm sorry, guys. Like, it always... It just seems like always, every time I record, people have to call like that, then and there. So what, what ended up happening is I picked up the phone and we got destroyed by gargoyles. Because I, just, I just wasn't paying attention and they burnt me. And I don't even know why I'm not one-shotting them anymore. Okay, now I am with a big attack. That was cool. <laughs> that was sweet. Uh, this does about a, I'd say about a fourth damage if it hits you that fire, but it, it's continuous. So, you know, a couple more shots from a couple more gargoyles, and you go, you go down pretty much. So let me just clear out this area. And I forgot what the hell I was talking about. The reason why I'm clearing out this area was, in fact, to show you the invasion. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I just don't want anybody following us. 
Oh, they will see. You see that? They're all ganging up on you, so you have to be careful because they're coming from, like, all sides. There's not much to this place. Well, actually, no, I'm lying. There's a lot to this place. Um, like, a bunch, a whole bunch of stuff. So, we might do some exploring, but I don't know how much. I just want to get to the bed of chaos. And get it over with. With the bed of chaos. The bed of chaos is an interesting fight because it requires you to do steps. <laughs> and you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. So right now, I'm just going to do this normally. And be careful because this destroys armor and, I believe, weapons. I think it's easy to flinch though. Nope, no it's not. Just remember to be between like the tentacles so that you don't get sprayed because I think... It destroys your weapon automatically, and yeah, no pyromancer. That means, actually, is that the pyromancer up top? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's the apprentice of Quilana, uh, the pyromancer that gave us some cool magic. So it wasn't an invasion, but I'm pretty sure you get invaded here by Kirk again. I forget. Whatever. You get the Isolux Catalyst. So well, that was the the one thing that I wanted to show you guys. Um, over here is the boss fight, the Battle of Chaos. But maybe we should, in fact, go over here a little bit. I don't know how long this episode will be. Uh, but, uh, hopefully not too long. I don't know where the drop is, really. Okay, this guy is over here. Please don't break my stuff. He's not very fast. And with our super powerful weapon, we can kill him relatively easy so this is not a mimic because the chain is coiled so you can open it up no problem get the pyromancy chaos fire whip which is pretty damn cool i mean i found little use for it to be quite honest but some people like it okay this is not an invisible wall so we could do some exploring this is kind of cool up top how the lava's flowing um but you know what i think we're going to just do the bed of chaos right now look how cool this is uh, because I don't know how many attempts I'm going to have to do in order to do what I want to do. So, yeah. Let's just go. And a pro tip, have some homeward bones with you if you don't want to lose your souls. Let's get to it. Surf's up, dudes. Look at that. I feel like a total badass sliding. Okay, that was a little bit disorienting. And, Bed of Chaos. This is the Bed of Chaos, guys. So what we want to do, first of all, I want this son of a bitch to aggro on us, because... Okay, I hope he's not going to aggro. We want to get rid of this and this. We just want to have the Astus Flasks and Homeward Bones. Um, okay, that does not... That does not do that does not reach us by the way but what will happen soon we have to be okay well I guess it's just going to be this part is going to be as easy as that right okay so what you do is you go here and you destroy this There you go. Now what you want to do is just Homeward Bone Out. Really, trust me guys. You can actually Homeward Bone Out out of this uh, boss fight. I don't know if you can out of the other boss fights. You probably could, but this is recommended and I will show you why. It is uh, an extremely easy speed run. So just go equip your Charred Ring. Orange Charred Ring. And just speed run it. It's much easier, it's going to give you, um, I mean, you could die, basically, and just spawn back if you don't want to use your Homeward Bones, but if you have, like, 20,000 souls, 23,000 souls, it's just an easy way to do it. So that's exactly what I want to do. I mean, it takes you a minute to get back to the Bed of Chaos, really. 
So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Because 23,000 souls, I mean, it's not a lot at this point, being level 70. I don't th even think we can level up. Um, almost certain we can't. But still, I don't want to lose it. Avoid the gargoyles, fuck them. They messed us up already. And I'm so happy that I could deliver this. Now I'm beginning to be happy. Now I'm happy again. Um, I mean, my morning was really rotten, so this, this is helping a little bit. Even though my phone ran like a billion times during the session and I had to pick up, I feel better <laughs> right now. And I hope that you guys enjoy this Dark Souls playthrough. What I always do with playthrough channels is, you know, I just... Sometimes I just go to bed, lay down, and just press, press like, the playlist so that the playthrough of my favorite commentator would be going, basically. And just watch. Okay, so we're back here. It took us <laughs> no time. And this is going to be trickier. This is going to be trickier, and we may end up dying. We may end up dying, guys. So what's different here? Well, you can see one limb. Um, Bed of Chaos is now equipped with this. And it is tricky. Bed of Chaos is tricky because... Okay, well, you want to do this. Uh, and by this, I mean to see the pattern. Well, the where the scythe is going down. Or the claw, whatever. And now you want to kind of run, but be careful. Be very careful. Because, yep, that is going to happen. Now, I've seen people, uh, like, take their bow. Because we have to do exactly the same thing uh, that we did over there. We have to do it here. I've seen people using the Drag Dragon Slayer bow, which is the huge bow. And just fire right through the center. And, you know what? No, we don't have it. We can't use it. Uh, but I, I'm kind of tempted. Mm, no, whatever. And actually hit the spot that we have to hit, but... It's, it's not going to work out for us, I guess. Okay, look. Okay, this is going here. This is going here. Just be careful. Be careful about the scythe. Because it will take a lot of endurance off. And even maybe break through your shield. If you're not invested in endurance. And also the, the swiping motion with the hands. Yeah, the Bed of Chaos does that. And it's probably going to do it to me. Um... Well, shit. I think we are boned. Unless I can jump it. Yeah, I most Yeah, you see that because the scythe is magic, so it goes through my shield. Um fuck. Well, Geronimo. I can't believe that works. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck you bed of chaos. That's not over, by the way. It's not over. There you go. So exactly the same thing happened, and we're going to do the do the exact same thing. Just homeward bone right out of there. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy this strategy. So if you do pick up Dark Souls, do what I did. Save, save yourself a headache. For new players, uh, for players new to Dark Souls, this will help you a lot. I remember in, I mean, Dark Souls, Dark Souls in the beginning, like my very first playthrough, did kick my ass. But, oh my god, when I was completely new to RPGs, meaning something like Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Demon Souls pff, obliterated me. <laughs> Demon Souls was very difficult. A little bit more difficult. Well, maybe even more so than Dark Souls. Definitely more so. But it just caught me completely off guard. And then I finally got used to it. And it was such a, it was such a good time. Dark Souls is a... Uh, Demon Souls is a very good game. So if you have... Uh, it, it's on PSN for like 9 bucks or something. Maybe even less. Um, so I would really suggest you guys pick up both Demon Souls and Dark Souls, if you have the money, of course. But for newer players who, you know, are up for the challenge, Dark Souls is definitely the way to go. Demon Souls is only for PSN, for PS3. So we do the exact same thing. We go up top, avoid the little, uh, tentacle, tentacle, 
uh, tentacle monster. We do what we do. And go to the Bed of Chaos. Now, hopefully, if everything goes well, we could do this in one shot. <laughs> hopefully, fingers crossed, we could do this in one shot because it's very annoying. The last part, especially. Um, the camera in this game is manageable. I mean, you can move it around, but the controls kind of mess you up. Um, we are going to have to do something that requires us to do a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. So, none of this. Did I equip it? No, I didn't. Uh oh. Okay, that was not good. I'm pretty sure that it can hit us here. Let's see if I'm right. No, I was wrong. It can't hit us here. So, let's heal up. Fuck, it's. Right here, maybe then? Okay, right here is perfect. So, you wanna land here, kind of to the left, to the, like right in front of this pillar, and the Bed of Chaos is not gonna hit you. Now, why this is important is because you would think that it would be so easy just to go forward, but of course, there's being Dark Souls, there's a lot of things uh, that go against you. So, be careful, be careful, be careful. Yep, this happens. And why is it tricky, you ask? Well, okay, do your thing, Bed of Chaos. Thank you. Do I have my bow? Yes. We have to jump onto here. But we can't go straight. We have to kind of go to the to the right of it. And it's really tricky uh, to line up your, your jump. So we might fail this. And I forgot the Bed of Chaos did that. But that's nothing too concerning. Okay, fuck it. Let's try to do this. Oh, oh no! Wow! That was so close. Uh, okay, well, there was my first try. Let's see what, how I'm gonna do on the second try. Okay. Uh, welcome back guys. So the bed of chaos is right here again. Let's line ourselves up For this piece of crap jump. I Hate this jump Come on you stupid bed swing at me, bro. Let's go There we go good bed of chaos. Oh fuck me. I forgot that this is gonna happen. Well, you have to be careful about that, too. Oh There we go. We did it. Ah <laughs> nice. Alright, well, as long as Steady wins the race, I guess. Be careful. Not much you can do here, just heal. There we go. Heal again for good measure. Jump, jump, break these dried out twigs. And you want to go to this lizard. Or monster, or whatever. Two-hand your weapon. Boom! There you go, there goes the bed of chaos. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Okay, we have the Lord Soul. Uh, so we have Nitos, Sith the Scaleless, uh, Bed of Chaos. Oh my god, we have one more to go. So let's light this bonfire and let's go back to an area that is a little bit more friendly. How about that, guys? Let's go back to Firelink Shrine. Welcome back, guys, uh, to Firelink Shrine. Finally, we're back to this place. At least it's a little bit more pleasant to look at than uh, just from atmosphere-wise than Lost Isolate. So, I will happily see you on the next episode of Dark Souls. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for uh, you know watching all these parts, rating them, commenting, um, and hopefully this channel is going to grow even bigger. Thank you very much, guys. See you on the next episode.